Hello everyone, it's been a while since I did a video, but I have a new toy. Um, this toy will come in really handy with my bee removals and all kinds of other things around the house and, and the property here. What it is, it's a FLIR-1 thermal imaging camera that attaches to my Samsung S7 Edge. Haven't opened the box yet. Um, I'm not big on unboxing videos, but this is such a neat little toy. I'm going to go ahead and do one here for you. Okay. So, on the back of the uh, box, it just says... Uh, extends the limits of the human eye by translating invisible thermal energy into dynamic color images. And again, mine, this one here is for Android. They make them also for iOS, which is Apple. It says right on it, Android. A Christmas present. I'll sharpen my knife. Okay, so let me zoom the camera in here just a bit. All right, everyone. So I'm back. I had actually downloaded the uh, the wrong app. So let me show you what I had downloaded. It's right here. Let's see. It's right there. That's the wrong app. The correct app is this one right here. It says uh, FLIR1 on it. Um, and it's really easy. I, I plugged in the uh, thermal sensor, powered it on. It automatically, once I downloaded the right app, it automatically sensed it and it took me few, through a few steps to get it set up, which was nothing. And now all I got to do is hit the, the app and it instantly goes to it. So let me just give you guys just a brief, there's a million videos on YouTube already. But here's a beehive. Let me tip that camera up here so you can see what... There's different functionalities here. I can I can choose different things. Oop, I'm blocking the so that's not gonna work from blocking that. But uh, here's the uh, here's the indoor beehive. For some reason there's a warm spot right up there. So I'm gonna be going and doing a uh, a bee removal here in the next few days hopefully and I will be showing you guys that and how I'm going to use this and utilize this this thermal imaging camera to locate the bees in the ceiling so again thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to uh, putting this little cool gadget to work all right everyone so this is the following day after the removal um, I wasn't able to get very many photos or videos during the process because we were number one we were really high up uh, in, a, in, in a bucket uh, not bucket truck but it's, I think called a Grindall or something like that it's a great big lift 60 foot boom lift um, and we were just covered in honey when we exposed this hive we had to go it's in the soffit a very large soffit of this house and when we exposed it we had hit comb I used a sawzall and and just honey was pouring everywhere and, and ended up getting 10 gallons of honey with comb. I'm processing it now, so we'll probably end up with 6 or 7 gallons of actual honey once it's all said and done. Um, so I, I got some videos. My mom was down below. She went with us, and she she got some photos. Very little, vi no video, actually. But I did include some thermal images of when I was looking at the hives when we first got to the job. Um... So anyway, that's why there's very little photos or videos of this job because I just didn't want to touch my camera or my phone when I was literally covered from head to toe in honey. So anyway, I'll 
I'll include what I got and hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're at the, uh, the hive on the south end of the home I'm using the FLIR 1, my Android. Looks to be the beehives right up in the peak, the hot spot. It doesn't look to be anywhere else, just in that peak there. Okay, so we'll go to the uh, north end of the home. There's a second beehive. Okay, north end of the building. There's a lot of heat right in the peak. But, uh. How much down no, the soffit? Is the red what you're seeing is up there? Yeah, that's the heat the bees generate. And it'll warm up the wood. Sure. Could that be heat leaking from inside the It's possible. Right where them bees are coming in and out. Even the bees are red if you look on the screen. Sure. Yeah, That's pretty interesting. On a, the wood makes it a little harder. A sheetrock wall 